Yeah, that body's a blessing, girl. I ain't trying to pressure her. Hey guys, what's going on? Nick C here from the Sticky Socks, and welcome to yet another division video. Today, I've obviously been playing the division, as you can see from my channel, for several weeks now. Since day one, I've been playing it. I've gone through it. I've gone to end game. I've finished the main campaign. Dicked around in the dark zone and so far at the moment I've put in 110 hours into the game. So I'm well deep into the game, I kind of know everything and today we're just going to talk about 8 quality of life improvements the division would need and something that would make the game better for the player to use and would just improve the game in general. So guys we're going to get straight into it and the first one is to be able to craft multiple items at the same time at the crafting station. Reason for this is kind of particularly for materials when you're crafting something like tools or you're crafting fabric. It takes absolutely ages half the time when you're crafting a lot of them or you kind of have decrypted shit tons of gear and stuff and you're trying to bring it up to high end level. So that would help a lot and speed up time make it easier to manage your stuff and just simplify things in general. Number two clan support now i bring this clan support topic in from being a destiny player in destiny having a clan was one of the best things that i had for me it made me play the game forever and i built a group of friends of about five or six hundred people on that game with my clan which actually named this channel sticky socks ltd it's an amazing clan to have it's filled of absolutely stunning people and i'm so glad that we had it i wouldn't have continued playing destiny for so long without those people so I'm really happy to have that. So something like that in the division to meet random people, make things easier, have the clan tournaments or whatever, I'm sure that's easy for Ubisoft to implement. They've got a massive studio of about 20,000 people around the world so there'd be no problem in implementing that. Number three guys is to vote kick for matchmake groups instead of leader's discretion. The amount of fucking times I have went off matchmaking and people will, ki will kick you in the last fucking seconds of challenge mode just because their free three friends are in there and you're random just for shits and giggles. And it's just ridiculous. I don't understand why this is. This is like in Destiny if the Nightfall was matchmade and you could just decide to kick other players. Does not make sense. It's a really bad move. It needs to be changed as soon as possible because personally I fucking hate it and this is why I always choose to play with my friends instead of going off with matchmade groups. There's no point having matchmaking if the leader can just kick everyone. It's just pointless because anyone could just go in there, a little fucking nine year old kid, go off and kick everyone out of the group just for shits and giggles. Not very nice. Next up guys is number 5, battle stats. Something like having your KD, your, um, the amount of kills you got in the dark zone, your KD in the dark zone, your most deadliest weapons, your most deadly skills and all that. That would be very handy to have and it would offer analysis, another deeper level to the RPG mechanism or the RPG kind of uh, mechanics within the division. It would add another layer to it and make it interesting. Next up guys, to be able to inspect other players gear. My god, I do not understand why this is not available in an RPG, FPS, MMO hybrid game like destiny had this and it's something that you're able to look at like oh damn he's got that really cool high-end thing or he's got that really cool exotic and that's something that really should be added i don't understand why this wasn't in day one but then again i compared the division a lot to destiny because it suffers from a lot of similar problems they're both amazing games at the end of the day they're very similar now still they're very different in many ways but a lot of the problems as i said is very similar like i could easily almost make this exact same list for destiny Anyway guys, moving on, the next thing is a buyback option at a vendor. You can very easily by accident sell off your high-end stuff while you're throwing away some shitty legendaries. That's very simple, just as simple as that, that just needs to happen. Uh, next up is something that I think a lot of the community has really suggested, and that's to have competitive team versus team modes. For a game that's so loot-based and the Dark Zone comes in, the Dark Zone isn't even real PvP. It's just an arena, basically, filled with PvE enemies, and you can just fuck around with people. It's a bit like Watch Dogs, almost, where you can invade other people's worlds and kind of dick around with them if you really want to. It's not really team v team. If there was an actual map, even if it was the Dark Zone, it was like Hunger Games. 30 people thrown in there and it's just kill. Once you're dead, you're gone. That would be fucking incredible to implement. It would mean that for clans and stuff, you'd have some very interesting tournaments to be able to have that clan v clan. You could even go fucking MLG with this shit if you really wanted to. It's really interesting. It would add another layer. Again, more content, more in-game stuff for people to do. And it would just add a lot to the game. Last but not least, random world events to give love to lower level areas after endgame. Random world event bosses basically in lower level areas for instance. This would add kind of again a lot to the game. The problem with Ubisoft is they tend to build really big worlds filled of absolutely nothing. There's just emptiness and like you'll be travelling for 20 minutes and you'll just meet a bunch of level 2s on your way. There's nothing interesting to do. At least after you get to end game if the game just set up all the enemies that you'd end up being able to get a bunch of uh, bosses and stuff and a lot of different encounters that were interesting out in the low level areas and stuff it would add another layer to the game in the end of the day a lot of these are just about adding more content to the game 
it's a problem that the division does suffer at the moment. I mean, the end game isn't exactly spectacular at the moment. All you really have is Dark Zone Challenge Mode. Incursions is coming in, but to be honest, it just looks like a fucking hard mode. It's kind of like Prison of Elders from Destiny with a big boss with some stupid mechanic. They're really trying to go for the Destiny look at raids, just far simplified. It's just literally a room where you kill 16 waves and then the boss, which is a big APC, which just makes no sense. And he's got a special mechanic to kill him or blow him up, whatever the fuck you want to think. Anyway, guys, that's another comp that's another uh, topic for a different video. Uh, I might upload that next week after uh, Incursions has come out and I've played them and I've experienced them and give a real opinion on them once I have played them. It's very hard to give an opinion now since it hasn't properly come out. There's only been a bit of a reveal. Who knows? It could be very fun to play. So, guys, that'll be all for this video. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like. It does really help. And we're on our way to 200 subscribers. Very, very close. We're at about 190 at the moment as recording of this video. So, we're doing pretty well. It's been massive growth and i really want to uh thank people for uh the support on the division videos it's been massive and i love you guys for it so guys that'll be all for this video and i'll see you in the next one